In this video, I'm going to have a look at what are connectivity matrices. Over here, I've got myself a diagram showing the different connections that exist between different points that we refer to as nodes. Now, what a connectivity matrix helps us show is the number of different routes that exist between nodes given a certain number of steps. The most common being if we we're only allowed to take one step. For example, if I was to start at node A, what we're looking at is how many different routes in total are there that only use one step that will help us arrive at node A. So if we started here, are there any ways that we can go that only uses one step to be able to arrive back to node A? In this case, we would have to take multiple steps to get back to A. So we put a zero here. However, if we were to start at node A and look at how many different one step routes there are to node B, we could start here and take one step here. However, there's no other one step route to get to here. So we put one total route to get to B. To start at A to get to C, there's no way that I can get to C in one route because the arrow indicates that this only travels from C to A. So we'd put a zero here. And we repeat this as we move along. So A to D, there's none. A to E, there's none. And A to F, there's no one step pathway that'll get us there. Once we've done that line, we just continue in the same process. So now we look at, if we started at B, is there any one step pathway to get to node A? So if I started here, I can't travel along this way and there's no other one step pathway. So that would be a zero. If I started at B, is there a one step pathway to get to B? Well, if I took that step, it would take another step to get back, so there's none. If I started at B and moved to C, I can get there this way, but there's no other way to get there within one step. So there's only one pathway. And what we do from here is we just repeat the process until we've completed our matrix. And now that I've completed it, what this helps us show is all the different routes that only take one step to get between these nodes. But let's say we're not interested in the one step, we're more interested in the two steps. Well, we can create a matrix to represent that. Now, if we're looking at two steps, what we're now doing is we're ignoring just the one step. You've got to take the one step, then you've got to take a second step. So if we start at node A, which was here, and we're looking at are there any two step routes that will get back to node A? In this case, we can only travel this way, and then we can only travel this way. So there's no way we can get back to node A within two steps. So there's no routes that exist for that. From A to B, I'd have to travel here, then I'd have to travel back over to here, so there's no two-step route, so that's zero. But from A to C, I can go this way, and then this way, and that's a two-step route, and there's no other that exists, so there's only one of them. And we repeat this right throughout. Now let's go through starting at C together for a moment. If I started at C and try to get to A using two steps, I physically can't get there using two steps. So there's no routes that exist. From C to B, if I travel through A and then to B, that's one two step journey. But there is no other way that I can get there within two steps. So there's only one route that exists. From C to C, however, I can start at C, I can travel through to B and then come back. That's one two step journey. I can travel through to D, come back, so there's two. I can travel through to F and come back, which is three, but I can't travel through A and come back. So there are three total routes that exist that are two step routes that will arrive back at C having started from there. So we put three here. From C to D in two steps, I physically can't get there within two, so that's zero. 
from C to E, I can get there going this way, and I can get there going this way. So there's two of them. And then from C to F, I once again physically can't get there within two steps, so that'd be a zero. And he continued to the rest. So now I've completed that, what's in blue here shows the number of two-step connections or routes that exist between each of these nodes. What's in pink shows the number of one-step connections that exist between these nodes. There's actually a relationship that we're going to explore as we continue between these two matrices that can actually get this matrices a lot more efficiently than what we currently did here.